a nice coating. This time of year, we love to get that because it just covers up the, you know, nastiness of uh, the winter ground otherwise. And after the snow, it has dried up and even started to clear out which means we have a shot at seeing this sunrise. It's 7.57 a.m. Sunsets at 5.33 p.m. on your Wednesday. Trying to get over the hump, and we do have a warmer day tomorrow, but today, not so much. These numbers, 17, 18, 19 degrees, with a little northwest wind that's 5 to 15 miles an hour, so a lot of single-digit wind chills as you're heading out. Make sure you are layered up. The winds will pick up, especially through the later afternoon, and that means wind chills will be an issue even as we try to warm things up. But a little sunshine through the morning. Grab the shades because the uh, sun bouncing off of that snow uh, will be extra bright. But clouds do fill back in midday and through the afternoon to partly sunny. Uh, middle upper 20s, again, feeling like single digits and teens on your Wednesday. Ugh. Well, there's the snow, and again, the last few hours here have been on the drier side. You see a little flurry action coming into the Lansing area. Keep an eye on that. But again, the clouds starting to break or try to break apart to try to give us a little sun. And there is a warm front on the way for Thursday. It's a very short-lived warm-up. It's going to be about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow, uh, but... We do have a breeze that will make it feel cooler, and there will be some sunshine as well on your Thursday. Not really expecting much in the way of wet weather until maybe Friday morning as the warm front replaced quickly by a cold front and what could be some streamers, some lake effect snow bands and snow squalls possible Friday morning. Take a look at your seven day forecast here. And again, a brief warm up tomorrow, near 40 degrees, but feeling cooler than that. A couple of uh, snow bands or squalls possible on Friday morning. And we will see those numbers dip again for the entire weekend. Uh, we also track a little Sunday snow late in the day into Monday. So when we go back to work, back to school early next week, Evrod could be slippery as we're seeing out there this morning.